Basically, I know Alfredo, at that point in time, now here's Sid, or what looks like Sid. There's Donnie in the fucking car sleeping. Alfredo didn't come back in the car with us. Alfredo, at that point, Alfredo leaves. Wow, man. Wow, man. And I'm almost positive that Jeff Lopez fucking left with him, but I'm not told, I know, I know Alfredo left with somebody else, I don't, there was, there was another fucking kid there that I cannot remember this fucking kid's name, because I don't know this fucking kid's name, Alfredo Flores left with somebody else, so he didn't come back when, when we left in about 20, 25 minutes later, when we left that place, I don't even think we were there for that long, I think we were there for 15 minutes, maybe, Maybe 20 minutes when we came, when we left to go back, I'm pretty sure the only two people I had in the fucking car with me were Drew and Tony Pirro. And I'm thinking that this was right around about the same time. Close to like a two month period, like yeah, because it was three days, not two weeks after I. I'm pretty sure it was through the third day after I got my car painted. That's when Alfredo dropped the fucking the EMP on the floor. That's that's also the same exact fucking day that freaking I ran into my cousin. This was like more like February, March. This this was like out of winter. Just about out of winter, I think it, this took place. It was warm enough. Maybe it was October. I don't know. I don't freaking know. I just find it real fucking interesting that, you know, it's like, wow, man, it's like. First, first, he says, remember the contracts. Then freaking, then he tells me, oh, let's go to this area. These two other people that I'm already with, which is interesting because Tony Pirro was the one I was with the day that freaking, wow, bro, wow, bro, wow, bro, wow, bro, wow, wow. The location, this, that. Yeah, I'm not really like I know that this is because this this is this is somewhat important. And Jeff Lopez definitely was fucking there. Wow, man. Wow, man. Fucking wow, man. That's why it's funny too, it's like when I think about this, when I think about all this, it's like, I started to talk to Tony Pirro, I was able to get in touch with him and he's like, Anthony, why don't you come out here, and then all of a sudden I lost touch with him too. Who the fuck knows if I was even talking to him? That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like, I don't even trust the fucking social media shit, man. It's like, this, this is fucking nuts. This is fucking nuts, man. The, the freaking point being is that, you know, it's like, it's like when I, I was talking to Sid. Sid was telling me, you know, that, you know, some, something about his own personal shit, but I'm like, does that make sense now? Like, may, but he was like, well, maybe this and that. But I'm like, you know something, Sid? It's like, I bumped into a dude who looked exactly like you. He's like, yeah, I thought of that. You know, he's like, something, something. It's like, but no, nah, he's like, yeah, I, I probably, you know. Well, we were having a conversation two days, same day, actually, that this person, this other person tells me about this guy that this, the whole, none of that shit is fucking. 
I just brought up those other two stories in the beginning because of freaking the, the interesting parts of the name. But um, that's what caused me to start thinking about this whole freaking trail thing. And what I found interesting, too, is that Donnie, I can't get... Now, now two weeks prior to the Tentacion kid, right, bumping into me up in the uh, up near the 7-Eleven, and then, uh, like, probably less than 28 hours to 36 hours later, being fucking um, offed down in Florida different hair color at that point so at some point he changes his hair color from when i seen him to to when he passed away and um the freaking point being is that it was the same kid i said holy shit i see this kid all the fucking time the, po the point being is that i couldn't get donnie on the phone two weeks prior to that happening and what's even more interesting is that the house of his friend was up that block that I went to a few different times that I was telling you about this this story, about the trail story, 23 years ago. And it's interesting that his friend, about a year and a half prior to me and Donnie not being able to get one another on the phone, his friend turns around and tells Donnie that if he keeps talking to me, he ain't going to talk to him. And Donnie tells him to go fuck himself. And he tells me, Anthony, I told him to go fuck himself. Because it's not going to be, you know, and then, but then, but then about 10 months go by. And all of a sudden, his phone starts getting attacked through my phone. My phone's being attacked with the same IP address as my phone. My, my IP address is attacking my IP address. And it's coming through the lady I can get on the phone. But it's also going through a, a couple other people. They're saying, he's saying to me that he had somebody look into it. He's like, he would like, he's like, I would like your permission. But he's like, you know, kind of did it anyway. And it's like, you know what, fuck it. Because that's the whole fucking point. So the point being is that, and, and we went back and forth for a few different years about this shit. But it's interesting that it was 10 months after he fucking told him, his other friend, Ed, to go fuck himself, that all of a sudden this shit starts to go down, about 10 months later. And then, about 6 to 8 months, I, I would say, I would say 8 months, 8, 9 months, not 6, about 8 or 9 months after that, is all of a sudden when I couldn't get Donnie on the phone two weeks prior to this Tentacion kid bumping into me up at the freaking 7-Eleven up here, right here, in Mastic. And then all of a sudden, Tentacion goes down to Florida and gets shot outside of a fucking motorcycle dealership. Wow. Interesting. Different hair color. So he, had, he had to have changed his fucking hair color. In that time period, there was some some at some point he had to have changed his freaking hair color, because he was not the, the the day that that happened. Because I didn't even know who Tentacion was. I just remembered the kid that was standing there, and I'm like, "Yo, bro, are you all right? You need you need some milk. You need some bread. You need some food. Some bologna or some fucking something. Do you need a beer?" Not because I'm a punk, because fuck this. No, seriously, fuck this. That's why I'm saying it's really interesting with the whole, what's in my head now, it's like, it's like Donnie remembered a little bit of that story, and Donnie might have been able to tell me, at this point, Donnie might have been able to remind me or tell me what he remembered as far as fucking maybe the other fucking kid or two that was there. That I don't remember their fucking names. If I bring it up to fucking Sid, who the fuck knows if he remembers this. But I'm, I'm wondering, at this point, I'm really wondering if it was fucking Sid or not. 
So I'll, I'll look through my fucking memory to find out if it coming out of the... But I know that they were saying that they were there for the same fucking reason. Jeff Lopez was walking away from that fucking... Basically, he was walking... We seen him on the way there. That's how he got in my fucking car. But I don't remember him fucking... I don't remember him being in the fucking car afterwards. One of the, dude, that's what I'm saying. I know Alfredo was definitely not in the fucking car. Alfredo at that point got out the fucking car. Once he got out the car, he didn't come back with us. And I'm wondering if Jeff did or Jeff didn't. I'm not going into like the mental fucking breakdown of fucking the fucking wind condition at this point. You know what I'm saying? And the freaking, you know, like the temperature. It's like, it's like, I remember it being warm. I could probably zone in. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm, I'm good. I'm fucking good. I'm just saying that it's really fucking interesting that Alfredo brought up the fucking contracts that I signed. Said that he could use a little bit of help getting to this location to figure out maybe what might have been going on. Yeah, okay. Bullshit. You know what? Bullshit. And that's why it's it's really interesting that we seen him, me and Tony Piero, the night that my the note the night that me and Tony, the day that me and Tony, right before we went to the place, which was like six hours away, to help somebody move. Me and Tony Piero seen Alfredo Flores. That same day that fucking my cousin was raped. But we've seen him here, just, just so we're clear. We've seen him here on Long Island. Not in the other fucking state that we drove to. To help somebody move. The same place where fucking the last time I seen Sean Allen, he was. It's interesting though, and that's why I'm saying it's interesting that my cousin, that declared herself my cousin, which I thought was my other little niece, grown up, was so quick to sit there and say that I hurt. Ch she. It was a question. It was more of a question. But she was kind of pissed at whatever she was just told. And I'm thinking fucking Alfredo right there was the one that fucking said fucking something to her. Right before she said that to me because I was a few feet the fuck away. Wow, man. Wow, man. Wow, man. Wow, man. Wow, man. Wow, man. Wow. Fucking wow. Wow. You know, you know what's, yo, man, wow. Just like the night that I got jumped by those 17 kids up the fucking road, or so. 17 or more fucking kids up the fucking road. The night I go to the gas station, I just got finished writing the fucking song that I wrote, and I went up to the gas station to go get a beer, go get some fucking fresh air. And all of a sudden, there's this little fucking cunt asking me about a lighter. If I had a lighter on me. And I walk over to him. And fucking I hold out the lighter. And he's like. Give it to me. And I was like. No. This is here. It's right here. Wow. Just. Wow. 
Wow. That's why I'm saying, but, you, but the reason I, I went into that is because it's really interesting that the night, a few nights before, like maybe like, fuck, what, what I don't even know, like maybe it was a week, somewhere around about a week, a few days, a week, week and a half prior Okay, two weeks max. I cut down a different road coming back from hanging out up at the train station by myself to get some fresh air. And I cut down a different block and the girl that I'm pretty sure was Lynn. Or the girl I consider Lynn. I don't know. that now, now I'm saying I don't know how many fucking of them look alike because that's what I'm saying. It's like... Because it's really interesting that freaking that girl said my name. And I just kept walking with the two guys that were standing around her at the time. And the shit that that, that, that was a whole telepathic conversation happening. didn't even realize the fucking conversation was at 100% taking place like I, I I heard it I said fucking nah and I just kept walking it's just funny that it was like two weeks later all of a sudden week and a half week few days later that all of a sudden the comment that I said back to that telepathically all of a sudden unfolds where I'm jump, I'm being jumped by 17 fucking guys. And the one fucking guy that asked me for the lighter looked a lot like Alfredo Flores. But Alfredo Flores couldn't have been there because he was posting a picture with Ari in a red room at the time. Wow. Wow. And the guy, the night that my cousin was raped, and this is going back, I don't know how many years ago. I know it was the freaking, it was the other Camaro that I had bought. And I took the fucking plates off the one car and drove the fucking Camaro the fucking six hours or so to the place. To help the guy move. But right before that is where me and Tony Pirro bumped into what looked like Alfredo Flores. But I didn't even care. At that, I did, didn't even care. And the fucking girl looked like the girl that I would consider to be Lynn. That's why I don't know what to fucking believe right this second. Because I'm saying to myself, it's like, I know what I've seen, but I don't know what the fuck I've seen. You know, like, I wasn't, I was not fucking mentally fucking focusing on, are these the people that I am seeing? As I'm seeing them. But I do find it interesting that a few years back, and this would probably be going back about six years, six and a half years, I was able to contact Tony Pirro and talk to him one or a couple messages and then all of a sudden no reply. Weird. It's fucking weird. That's why I also find it weird that freaking Tony Pirro was with me the day that Alfredo Flores asked if we'd go help him, bring him to this location, maybe back him up if something goes down, about some girl that was being raped in a fucking trail, or attempted to be raped in a fucking trail, 
And when we roll up, all of a sudden, here's fucking Donnie. And I find it real fucking fascinating that Donnie, I could not get on the phone two weeks prior to the Tentacion kid getting fucking shot. And, but not that so much as important as the fact that I bumped into Tentacion right here, 20 fucking six to 36 fucking hours prior to that kid getting shot. So I really find it funny that the other videos that I posted just interestingly enough, like uh, showing a couple comments, you know, fucking Ari's comments. It's like, it's just funny that it's like I'm heading on my way down to Florida and all of a sudden, like my comments are being left more and more on the page. She's only got a few more concerts to go. I'm heading down to Florida to go see my mom one last Christmas. And all of a sudden, not only do I encounter Pop Smoke, which I encountered twice up here in New York. Once at the fucking church. And once at the, and, and not the church here in Mastic, the church out where I used to live. Very close to where I used to live. And at the gas station. Near my job. That I used to work at. The rapper kid. I'm going to be a rapper. I'm going to be a rapper too, man. Hey, what's up? You know? I just find that all very, very fucking intriguing. Is that all that... Because then all of a sudden, the next day, I get into a fight with my jerk off of a brother. About the fucking bruises that's on my mother's arm. Well, it was on my mother's arm. That I was being told was on my mother's arm. Wow. Fucking wow. I go to jail... Pop Smoke drops a song. I go to get fucking... Basically, I just fucking pleaded out. Which I shouldn't... And Robert Ashley. Robert Ashley looked like... He could be fucking Jeff Lopez's fucking... D. Almost similar. Wow. I was like, holy shit, this guy's really going in for it, man. I'm not going to even joke right now, man. Holy shit, I'm not even going to joke right now. Because that's it's fucking hilarious, but it's not fucking hilarious. It's not fucking, none of this shit's fucking funny at this point. I'm going to go get that coffee. And I'll be right back to possibly finish up whatever the fuck is in my head right now. So I don't go fucking crazy from this shit.
great too. On top of everything else, man, it's like, phew. wow, man, my freaking ankle is fucked up. So, where was I here? I was at um, yeah, Robert Lee Ashley sheriff that fucking decided that even though I was showing him with no threatening gestures with my hands up in the fucking air showing him the fucking broken cell phone that was knocked out of my hand not once twice maybe three times what the fuck I'm not even thinking of the fucking main details right now the bottom line is I'm showing him the broken goddamn phone and the little fucking cocksucker, my hands are up in the fucking air, and I'm like, look at the phone. He broke the phone. Bro. As I'm backing up with my hands up in the air, they're telling me, put my hands down. Then they're saying, oh, I have something threatening in my hands. Then I put my hands back the fuck up. Wow, bro. Wow. Because they, they tell me to put my hands down. Because they say that I had something threatening in my fucking hands. Wow, bro. I'm not even going over this again. The bottom line is that fucking that little bastard knew exactly what the fuck he was doing when he came through that door first. And started to fucking literally. And with his tongue hanging out of his mouth. I wish I had a camera. I'm going for my fucking pinky. And I'm just like, stop, stop that. I'm like, get off me. Shoe fly, shoe fly. Wow, man. <sighs> and while all that's going on, and then Pop Smoke, like I said, drops a song. And then, I get sentenced to the other, whatever, the fucking two and a half months. And, you know, my, my promise comes true, which is the next dumb cop, right, that laid his fucking hands on me for any fucking reason whatsoever. And this fucking wonderful little virus would, that I fucking put a stop to two times already would get fucking released, and then poof, welcome to the world of fucking COVID. Is it a real virus? Is it a fake virus? Is it a real fake virus? Is it a real, real virus? Or is it a fake, real virus? Or is it a real fake virus? Or is it a fucking, holy shit, should we fucking... And then it's, it's, it's like, it's, it's, who the fuck knows at this point? It's not killing the animals yet. It ain't killing all the fucking wildlife yet. Fucking if it is. But the promise, the fucking promise. I kept my fucking word, right? And uh, as I'm getting sentenced after missing Christmas with my mother for the last time, Pop Smoke gets shot over in California. Which I'm thinking had nothing to do with saying hello to me that night. But I was fucking wondering in my head why I was in jail. Who the fucking kid was. Because I had a feeling I recognized him from somewhere. I did not find out until after I got out of jail that that was Pop Smoke. I recognized that fucking kid. <clears throat> so I find that interesting. I also find it real fucking interesting that, like I said, after going through and then seeing, like, how my comments were, like, all over the fucking posts leading up to right before I left, uh, on Ari's posts, right before I left to go down to Florida. 
And then all of a sudden, I get fucking arrested for this dumbass bullshit. Oh, let's not forget the cop erasing the fucking video where my brother was confessing the fucking murder. Looked like fuck the, that son of a bitch looked so much like Jeff Lopez. It was it's not even funny. It's it, if if I was to stand him and Jeff Lopez next to each other, <clears throat> same fucking pattern of fucking baldness forming on his fucking head. Same fucking same. So oh my god, I was like holy shit. This looks like Jeff Lopez from back in the day. Now there was two Jeff Lopez's from back in the day. I'm talking about the fucking the, the, the fucking weird one. The fucking well, the fucking, the, yeah, the the weirder one. He kind of fucking moved around very weirdly and fucking acted weirdly and fucking everybody was like, what the fuck, you know? It was just, I was like, yeah, he's on. The one I fucking clocked in the fucking face one day when I fucking know for a fact he was talking shit behind my back. After me helping that little son of a cunt. Here's some money for some food. Here's some weed. Smoke the weed with the people that will let you stay at their house. Don't exactly, I'm not really too worried about the fucking money or the, the fucking that I lended you for the food, but I do want you, or the, I, I'm not too concerned about the weed, but I'm concerned about the money that I lended you out of my pocket. Make sure you pay me back the fucking money, not the fucking, I'm not worried about the fucking weed, the fucking, I got enough of that, right? At that point in time, the motherfucker, the motherfucker just wouldn't even, wow, what a fucking cunt, what a fucking, that is a cunt, that is a fucking... That is like a, that is a non-necessity cunt. And then you're going to talk shit behind my back, bro. The guy that helped you, you're going to talk shit behind their fucking, wow, bro, I can't, wow. Even after I confronted you, wow, wow, about fucking here in the room, then, then, then it was proven, and then I fucking clocked you in the face, and you cried like a little bitch, because that's what the fuck, wow, bro. <laughs> Wow. Wow, man. Wow, man. Wow. Fucking. Fucking wow. Fucking wow. Wow. The girl that looked like Lynn. Or the, the, the girl that I consider Lynn, who looked looks. Other than the fact she's probably taller than Ari. The real Ari. Lynn seems to have people that look like her because she looks like Ari. And like I